it is I've got a feeling today is just gonna be so much fun this morning has just been unreal we've just arrived at the Modena racetrack I'm here in Italy as you just saw from the b-roll then I think that was probably some of the most exciting b-roll that we've ever filmed watching all of these cars together on the motorway in Italy was just unreal it was absolute dream to watch and I cannot wait to drive one of course that is the main reason that I'm here, by the way, is to get my first ever experience. But for now, I'm going to go check out what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for my second coffee. <laughs> Amongst all the crazy things going on here today is this, quite frankly, mad woman. <laughs> Kyan? Kyan? Kyan. Like the Porsche. Kyan. Yeah, almost. Almost, SUV. okay. <laughs> she joined us in the convoy here, driving her Panigale 1299 which is the most beautiful bike in the world i just want to point out you look tiny on it which makes it look even more cool you suit I the bike tiny. you are yeah but it looks so cool i've driven one of these very briefly i felt actually too tall for that type of bike almost i was like really hurting perfect a lot me. yeah for you it's perfect but it really is it is one of the most beautiful and of course you're wearing the right clothing as well <laughs> have you done anything to it or uh, it it's, it's actually lowered for me. It, I was going to ask if you uh, had lowered it slightly, it's but lowered. it doesn't look it. Oh, it's the anniversary edition. Yes, yes you should film it. It's, a, oh, it's yeah. 500. 500. In the world. Wow. I'm so lucky to have one of them. You are. Is it one of those bikes you're going to keep forever? Yes, yeah. I'm planning to. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, awesome. Thanks for being on camera. Thank you. I love your bike. Thank you so much. <laughs> So the time has come. I'm finally gonna get to drive my first ever BAC mono, not back. Yes. Right, I've been told about that. I called it back Absolutely. before. He doesn't hey. want to be on camera, but I'm forcing <laughs> him to be on camera. You're gonna introduce me to the car. To get in the car, let's get the steering wheel out first. Mm -hmm. Leave it on the spatch there. Mm -hmm. Okay, the seat belts are out of your way. I would just stand on the seat like you would get in a bathtub. St with my shoes on? Yes, that's yeah? fine. Okay. Yeah. Stand on the seat. He said, like you would get in a bathtub. 
Put your legs in first. Thinking. Then go lower. Go lower. Go okay. Lower. Th okay. This is weird. Okay. It's getting weirder. <laughs> it's comfortable it's, it's a very to sleep. Comfy, comfy position. Yeah. That's that's the same position. F3 drivers. Uh, F1 to a stage. Sit in. Okay. So like I'm quite worried that after driving this, I'm going to want to sell everything I have to buy one <laughs> and just live in one on the yes. mountains. This is the weirdest position in I've ever experienced in a driving machine. Well, you say weird right now. And it's weird in a good say, way. You will probably say that's the best, best driving position yeah, yeah. you've ever seen. So steering wheel, yeah. the best way to hold the wheel is uh, put your hands through here mm -hmm. and then use that okay. as a quick release. Okay. As you can see on the uh, thread pattern, yeah. the, the biggest thread is on top. Okay. Okay, so it's a two-stage system. As yep. you can see, there's a bit of movement yeah. there. So try and press it again. Good. Okay. Again. In. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now no, it's it's completely more, safe. Okay. okay. Master kill switch, mm -hmm. which uh, connects the power um, to battery. Mm -hmm. to the car. So that's the master kill switch on top. Mm -hmm. That's your traction control, mm -hmm. um, which I hope is fully on. Um, it's on three. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's got a six-stage system. Six. So um, it's half. So okay. it's. Uh, it's completely off one two three yeah. are dry settings mm -hmm. four and five are wet settings okay. um, three I've left it on three at the moment but you can adjust it if you click just press and press once and this. Yeah. yeah you can hear the fuel pump going mm -hmm. to start the car mm -hmm. it will get a bit noisy now so yeah. yeah start the car like you would start a normal car mm -hmm. and press and hold till the engine starts okay, so okay. that's your handbrake three Hand seconds on Handbrake. You come off, handbrake. Yeah. Three, Three seconds, seconds off. off. You've got a horn, horn. you've got indicators. So if you press it once, yeah. just a click, uh, it will go on for six times and okay. it will switch off on okay. its own. Okay. okay. Parking lights. To get into first mm -hmm. is basically clutch with your feet, yeah. left thumb on the neutral button, and right paddle. I would do it with your left hand because it's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. So get then. back into neutral, you just hit the neutral button. So let's get back into first. Yeah. Okay, now just come off the clutch slightly as a normal car and just try and go, go forward. If you're moving up, just go clutch in second. Okay. That was the weirdest thing. <laughs> it's, it's another world, but unbelievably cool. Can't wait to now drive it properly. I'm Open sitting here and it's just smile. It makes yeah. you like, you're just like, like the biggest smile ever. I think it's more so just of the position. Exactly. It is, you know, you feel it's weird, but it's very comfortable. Yeah, it's super um, comfortable. It's all about weight, weight distribution. Yeah. Because um, if you're sitting in that Mercedes there, when you're sitting upright, mm. all your weight, your upper body weight is yeah. acting on your butts and your thighs. Yeah, and then you have like a bad lower back. Exactly. Whatever. Here I'm like your, super over chill. Over here your weight is distributed through the seat. Mm. So that's why you feel comfortable, yeah. you know. If you're where are yeah. you most comfortable on a bed, right. right, usually, because you're sleeping. Okay, if you, if you need a fuel stop and you don't know how to, just call me, you've got my WhatsApp number. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. So I just decided to whip my camera out to vlog a little bit because well first of all I saw the microphone in this does not work it's so loud you just hear wind noise yeah I'm gonna have to do some voiceover on those parts I think I think I don't even know if I can put it into words at the moment I probably look pretty exhausted it's uh 
yeah it's quite tiring to drive but one hell of an experience by the way i haven't told you guys this yet but i actually drove here in the amg gtc thanks to mercedes-benz switzerland by the way it was just good timing they've given me this press car for the week and of course i'll use it to drive down here this is the petrol station guy he speaks no english italian <laughs> uh, ferrari Ferra or, or this <laughs> <laughs> Fra, okay, that's right. It's British. Questa, questa è bella, però Cresta Ferrari e Ferrari. I'm going to show you how, how easy or not so easy it is to park. To reverse park, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so... Uh, neutral, reverse. It is so hot in here. It's like I'm in a mini sauna. So Kim on was just, was telling me before, it gets a lot of looks, right? It's exactly, like yeah. more than, I think just as much as if you were to drive a Veyron or something. Exactly. And also got no front number plate. So people are like, oh, this guy's literally driving a Formula 3 car on the road, just cruising along. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite a surreal um, experience. Whether you guys can hear me or not, I don't know. But the helmet is on because we're gonna head back to the hotel now. Yeah, it's been a struggle filming this car, but there will be another time. But the helmet is going on because yeah, we're going on the motorway and uh, I really don't fancy sitting at uh, higher speeds with no window. This is quite a crazy situation this whole day is, but so, so cool. At this point on my drive, I realized I was slightly unprepared to record sound in a car with no window. I tried to record some audio via a microphone on my t-shirt, which completely failed. As soon as I picked up any speed, I only recorded wind noise. However, I will be filming with BSC again, and hopefully next time I will find a better audio solution, which I'm working on at the moment. I anyway was mostly stuck in traffic and failed to find a good road to push the car in the short time that I had it, but it was still such a cool experience just cruising around in what feels and looks like a race car. You really feel like a superstar whilst driving. Everyone takes pictures and films you, and who doesn't like a bit of attention now and again? For me, the most special feeling came from the seating position, and on top of that, I just loved the sound of the sequential gearbox. It's simply the ultimate toy for a petrol head, and I really hope that one day I could also own one. I've just arrived back now at the hotel after what's been, I don't even know how to quite put into words yet my experience in the BAC Mono. Probably the best, most exciting car experience I've ever had in my life. And if I was some wealthy person, I, I would buy one in a heartbeat as a toy. I mean, it really is the ultimate toy. So I drove back on the Italian motorway, which was had its terrifying moments because everyone, and I mean everyone, not one person drove past me on the motorway without filming or taking pictures. So they're constantly swaying in, excuse the noise in the background, lots of cool cars coming. And a Zonda just arrived by the way. But um, yeah, because everyone's filming you and taking pictures on the motorway, they're all swaying over, nearly hitting me because they're driving and filming at the same time. And you're sitting so low, you can just see this like one bit of vision. You have this like one bit of tunnel vision ahead of you. You're just looking over the steering wheel, which is without a doubt the coolest, uh, feeling and experience that I've ever had in a car I literally felt like oh, okay so this is how cool Lewis Hamilton feels nearly all year round because it is just one of the coolest or the coolest feeling that I've ever experienced uh, being in a car in sitting in that position thank you so much BSC Mono for inviting me down and super excited to do 
more content with them. I've asked them to get one out on a mountain pass in Switzerland. We need to do that. One of these on a Swiss mountain pass. Can you imagine? Thanks so much for watching. And before we go, I'm just gonna show you a couple of cars. That cars that have arrived, including the Zonda, because it looks incredible. First of all is this uh, <laughs> mad Maserati, very custom Maserati, which uh, the owner is such a cool guy, really, really nice guy. I don't even know uh, what to tell you about that, to be honest, because uh, I can't quite put that car into words. And yes, this is my BSC Mono that I was driving, parked it here and uh, yeah, left it with them again. But this is the Zonda that I was talking about that has just arrived, making a very, very nice scene. Indeed, they're just putting on um, the stickers at the moment for the event. And yeah, what a car. I mean, we could just stand here for a couple of minutes and appreciate that. Over there, got the black BSC Mono, which definitely looks ridiculously cool in black. Then we have a Performante with a pretty cool wrap on it, very in your face color. This is the AMG GTC that I'm driving back in, thanks to Mercedes Switzerland. Some other cool things as well. Ooh, ooh, now this is, this is something very, very nice. The 8C, what a beautiful car. Ooh, Julia Quadrifoglio. As you will know, one of my favorite cars. I love that car. That was it. There is many more cool cars coming, but unfortunately I won't be able to see them. And a hurricane here in black, so I actually walked past it, looking super stealth. And we have 430 Scuderia Lotus and another 430. I'm not sure if it's a Scuderia or not. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go now, enjoy a nice drink and just think about how awesome the day was.